Okay, so now we're going to start tweaking the points. And one thing I want to do first is go up here and select all the points, right click, and optimize to get rid of some points that we don't need so we don't drive ourselves crazy seeing all the points. Let's start with the uh, top view first. Okay, let's go to the rectangle selection tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to select these right here. Don't worry about this side, and we're going to pull it out just a little bit. There we go. Do the same back here. Just a tad here. Just a little bit. There we go. Um, we've got that lined up pretty good. Let's go back to the front. What we want to do now is we want to select the front view here, and you can see we need to pull all these out. And this goes to where it's important to keep, excuse me, select all of these. Your square shapes to start out with before you start moving things around and up and things like that. So move it up to about right there. There we go. Now you get a good shape right there. And you can see we've got that. So let's go to F3 to the front view. And we want to pull these in. Right here, let's pull them in. There we go. And now that's all straight, but we want to line this front up a little bit. So let's pull these down so that they match that right there. That line. There you go. Pull that one down so that it matches that line. And pull this one up. And actually, let's go ahead and keep it like that. And what we want to do is work on this part of the hood. But what we're going to do first is go to top view. And we're going to erase this whole size so we can work and not worry about messing up the mesh. Now, perspective view again. And we want to go to F3. And we can see that we need to move the mesh out some. So let's go here. And what we're going to do to help us out a little bit is we're going to go here now and we're going to add a symmetry item and a hypernub item and also a null object item. And the reason I selected null from up here instead of just right clicking and grouping it is because it'll put it at zero and that's what we want. So drop the symmetry into the hyper and the null into the symmetry and drop level one in there. There we go. Now you see we still got a we had a problem. Something I moved some points somewhere somehow. So what we're gonna do it, to check this is open this up here, click this one, make sure we've got it on object mode, and we can see that we need to set that back to zero in the object mode, which is there. The null object is zero, the symmetry is zero, and the hypernub is zero. So everything's zero now. But what we have is somewhere is a point off. So once you can see it right now, it's staring us right in the face. So select level one. Select this point right here. Go to structure, set point value, attribute, and select the X, set zero, apply, and there we go. Now let's go check the back end because when I select that, I select the whole row. So what you can see, it did it there too. So do the same thing again. Select that area. Go to structure. Set point value in the attributes. And you should just have to hit apply because you've already used it once. And there we go. Now let's open this back up. Dun, dun, and downsize that. And let's do a little test render. See what we've got what are tweaking so far. Just hit the render button and go back to objects because I think I've got this where it does not render. We've got material in there that's invisible. So let's go ahead, go to transparency and let's just bring it down to about 20% so it actually shows up in the render. Downsize these and render. And there's our shape so far. Go ahead and save. And...